Good morning. On January the 20th, 2016, President-elect Donald J. Trump spoke. But it wasn't what the liberal left heard. Obviously, the inaugural address was supposed to be not only a peaceful transition of powers from one administration to the other, and I emphasize what's supposed to be, it wasn't anything like that, and it continues to today. President Donald Trump spoke, but it's not what the left wanted to hear. We have anarchy in the streets. There were shouts of, you're not my president, while he was speaking. The Congressional Black Caucus, embarrassingly, did not attend, prompted by John Lewis's claim of the president being an illegitimate president. With all that aside, we'll have more to say about that in the future, but I will emphasize that the Democratic Party and the Congressional Black Caucus showed out. Not only were they disrespectful to the president, but they were disrespectful, disrespectful to the people of their various districts. I'm embarrassed to say that you, a lot of you, continue to hold them up as icons. Most of them should have been gone out of there. Kanye's 13th District in Detroit, Lewis District 5 in Atlanta, and the list goes on. They've not only embarrassed the race, but they embarrassed the whole country. And with that, we've shown ourselves to not only be divided, but weak. And our enemies see that. And they're looking, waiting to see just what will happen with Donald Trump, the president of the United States, but with the country itself. Now, Romans 13.1, that's Romans 13.1, you need to read it. It says, let every soul be subject to the higher power. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained by God. Now that's Romans 13.1. You, you need to read the full text chapter 13 to get what's being said there because it's telling you in there that there is a power even higher than Trump Obama while you seem to think that Obama's because of his personality versus Trump's personality 
is a better man. But I don't agree. I think that President Trump will be given the opportunity a better man. He don't talk out the both sides of his mouth as Obama did. He doesn't say things deliberately lie as Obama did. And I do think that even in his texting or tweeting, he's trying to be not only transparent, whether he's trying or not. You see, because the Bible also says out of the heart, the mouth speaker. And I think each time he characterizes himself, and certainly he's a gruff type guy, bombastic in many ways. I know it because I know that even I am bombastic. At least I've been said to be. But these are peerless times. And we need a leader, not a candy man, not a guy that comes in promising everything and leaves out doing nothing. Not even for the nation itself. In fact, I believe he's screwed up the world. But that's to be decided. But right now, I want to talk just about our present president. And I believe that he has stated many things. But one thing that I do know, promise many things, he says that America is going to be made first. And I believe he meant that. He said many things, but I think the most important thing is that we are bound and determined, or he's bound and determined, to make us a great nation again. Now, I think that you might admit, even the liberals, that we need a strong man in our presidency. Our enemies around the world, and right now, even in America, yes, they're here. We have moles, M-O-L-E-S, that will and always try to do their best to destroy us. It's been said that if America falls, then it's going to fall from within. And I think it's almost falling. So therefore, I invite you to read this content. The president spoke. And that's not what we heard or they heard. You know, even on Saturday, the Saturday after the inauguration, it was an embarrassing thing that I, supposed to be women, where well, they were walking around with caps on that represented their vaginas. I thought I wouldn't use the P word, and I'll just call it what it is, upside down vaginas. They had their ears covered as if they were in the uterus. But there was anarchy. There was chaos. And when old Madonna spoke, she even spoke of bombing the White House. It was Judd 
Ashley Judd that proclaimed that the ladies were, I don't even know, I use, I use that term lightly, the women were nasty women. Why they wouldn't want to take that label. But we accept it because you sure enough acted nasty. But we'll talk about that at another time. And it all boils down to role reversal. I'll say that again. Role reversal. That's even, it first manifested its ugly head in Genesis 3. And you know that from the beginning of my blogging career, I promised you one thing that I would tell you the truth, and it would be from a biblical perspective. Now, if you don't know anything about the Bible, I invite you to read it. I know many of you claim to be atheists, but what is that? But I was once lost. But until you come to the realization that you're lost too and accept the gift of God, you will continue to die in your sins. And God doesn't want that. So America, this is Raymond A. Howard, Marine, a Detroiter, a patriot. You can get me in your mailbox or your email by subscribing either above my head to my left or at the bottom. I'm trying to make it convenient for you. So if you like what you're hearing, or even if you don't like what you're hearing, you know, you might have a, a, a list of blogs that you may want to come back to. Well, put me in that category. And put my email down. It's RaymondAHoward.com. Simply as that. I don't have anything to hide. And I want to make sure that you get it, what I have to say from a biblical perspective. And until then, or the next time we come together, I only want to come into your, perhaps your email box once or twice a month, you decide. But I don't want you to miss what I believe is the truth, not only of the Bible, but as I see the American situation, we're in bad shape. We have been overcome. The enemies behind the gate. You see it every day. I'm not a racist. I'm not a bigot, although I've been called those things. I've been called Uncle Tom. Well, it's not what you say about me or the world says about me. It's what God says about me. And I learned a long time ago that the only thing that lasts is what I do for Christ. So with that, Again, RaymondAHoward.com, and I'm rebuilding Detroit. And what are you doing? And I am a supporter of Donald J. Trump. And I think that those of you who aren't supporting him, 
I hope that you come on board. It's not about a party. It's about what is right, what he can do. So with that, I'll say good night or good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're at. This has been Raymond A. Howard, a blogger.